Greetings viewers, Eric Carguy here, also known as ETCGU1 on this here channel because I'm wearing this hat. Uh, here on ETCG1, we do not do repair videos, so if you're looking for repair videos from Eric the Car Guy, please head over to the Eric the Car Guy channel. I will post a link in the description so you can go there and watch all the repair videos that you'd like. However, if you'd like to stick around and join in the conversation, welcome aboard. This is the first video for ETCG1 for 2014, and I thought that I would cover a little bit of what I hope to do in the coming year on both of my channels, both ETCG1 and Air the Car Guy. I am sitting on my 1979 Ford Fairmont, which I purchased last year. Um, really love the car. Uh, I think it's a really clean car. It's a really great platform to start with and is a hot topic of conversation for things that I plan to do in the coming year. As far as this car goes, there are a lot of things that I think I can cover beyond doing the performance upgrades. Uh, one of the main things that I like about this car is, is with the exception of the electronic ignition, uh, it is pretty much an old mechanical setup. So that allows me to cover some of those systems in a mechanical basic kind of way. I think that a lot of us, including myself, have an easier time understanding things that, that we can see, we can touch, and we can understand how they work. Uh, whereas things that are electronic are a lot more abstract. They're a little more difficult to concepts to grasp. My channel has always been, uh, well, I've always wanted to take my channel in the direction of being educational. So I, I plan to use this thing for a teaching tool for a while before I start doing performance upgrades. That will also give me time to gather up some funds because going fast is not cheap, I'll tell you that right now, or doing any kind of modifications. Um, you've got your big expenses, like in this case, an engine, a transmission, you know, an upgraded suspension, and all kinds of other things that go with that. But it's, it's the little things that get you. It's those nickel and dime things, those bolts that you have to run to the hardware store for because you don't have them in the kit or whatever. Uh, those are the things that hold you back, but that'll, that'll be fine. I think that's a, a, that'll be a nice, uh, nice thing to cover with this, with this car. I think it's going to offer a lot of opportunities. Uh, I have some ideas that I'd, that I'd like to get into uh, really pretty much as soon as I get into the new year. Up to this point, what I've been doing is friend calls me up, family member calls me up, and they have an issue with their vehicle. They need me to work on it. I've worked on their vehicles for years, that type of thing. I grab the video camera, you come along for the ride, and I repair basically what's there. In 2014, I hope to change the direction of that a little bit. I, I think my videos actually work better when I take some time to plan them out, to have some thought behind them. A perfect example would be this, the video that I did for the introduction to this Fairmont here. Uh, that was all planned out. That was something that I, I had an idea of, of how I wanted to present the car and how I wanted to go about it, and I was able to realize that vision and make that video. I thought it was a good video, especially with the GoPro footage. Speaking of GoPro footage, a lot of you uh, expressed concerns that I would be going in the direction that I would be doing all GoPro point of view foot, you know, videos from here on out. That's not the case. Um, what I'm hoping to do is to use the GoPro as another tool in the box. I don't plan to use it exclusively in the, in the coming videos, so don't, rest assured that I plan to use it, but I plan to use it sparingly, and I plan to use it in a way to where hopefully it doesn't make you seasick like many of you pointed out. But I, I do feel that, that it, it presents a really uh, unique opportunity to, to work with a new tool as far as presenting information to you. Um, those cameras get into places that my other cameras could not, and as a result, I'm able to get some you know, more close-up footage for you. So it's not going to be all point-of-view stuff. It'll, it'll be a lot more than that. At least that's, that's my hope. But uh, on the whole, what I hope to do is just to plan out the videos more, make them more... Uh, targeted and focused on the topics at hand. I, I'd like to do less of pick up the pieces from whatever thing rolls into the shop. Uh, a lot of you have requests about specific vehicles you want to see specific things done on and I'll give you the response that I always give to that is that uh, the work that I do or the videos that I make are dependent upon what's in the shop. If I don't have your specific vehicle with that specific issue then it's very difficult for me to make a video for you on how to go about it. So please keep that in mind. But Whenever there is an opportunity for me to fill a request, and I have in the past, 
I, I jump on it. That's, that's what I'm here to do because for me, this is an exchange. This is, this is something, this is a relationship that you and I have. I'm the presenter, you're the viewers. Uh, we both need each other. You need me for something to watch and I need you to watch my stuff. <laughs> so we, we've gotten along pretty good up to this point and, and I want to continue that. And I do value your feedback. In fact, uh, there is a, a thread on my forum. It's the suggestion box. So if you have suggestions for, say, future videos or things that you'd like to see from Eric the Car Guy or anything of that nature, the suggestion box is there for precisely that. Uh, I'll post a link in the description so that you can go there and check that out for yourself. Uh, should you have a suggestion that you wish to make. And I also read through the comments. Even though I don't respond to all the comments, I do read through them. And, uh, you know, your feedback is important because, like I say, this, to me, in my mind, this is a two-way street. I want this to work for both of us. So, in the coming year, I'd like to try to take things to another place. Um, I have dreams and aspirations, but uh, what I found last year when I, when I started out that way is that uh, <laughs> the best laid plans. <laughs> because there's, there's uh, well, new opportunities that come along. There's, there's all kinds of things that sometimes stand in the way of, of the things that I want to do. And I, I try to work with that as best I can, but uh, at this point, I am just but one person. Which brings me to another point. Uh, during the coming year, I've gotten to a point with Eric the Car Guy and ETCG1 where handling all this workload on my own has gotten beyond me. It, it's gotten to a point to where I work and work and work and I get to a point where I just can't work anymore and I have to take a break and walk away for a couple of weeks as I am about to do, which I already have when you're watching this video. But, uh, and then I come back, refreshed and recharged and work for another three months or so and get to a point where I just have to step away. If that's the way it is, so be it. But I think I would be much more effective if I was able to bring more, more people into the fold. And some of you have actually expressed interest in doing that. Uh, in the coming months, I'm going to figure out what I can do as far as uh, working out what I can budget as far as what people I can, I can bring in and how, I, how I'm going to bring them in. I, that's one of the things that I plan to do over my vacation is, is I've already sat down and made a list of the things, the goals that I'd like to accomplish in 2014. But in addition to that, I want to get into more detail about how I, how I plan to accomplish those goals. So that's going to require a little bit of research, a little bit of work. Uh, but I think in the end, uh, having a staff, so to speak, to, to help me do the things I do will make me more effective and I won't have to focus on a lot of little things that are tying me down and keeping me from focusing on the big things like making better videos. Which, making these videos, like I said, up to this point, it's just been sort of picking up the pieces from what's been in the shop. I think I can make better videos if I sit down and sort of have a plan of attack when I walk through the door and I say to myself, okay, today I'm gonna to shoot a video on this and I need to get this, this, and this into the video. I can research any, you know, anything that might come up, like uh, I, I can do the research before I come in rather than responding to your comments later with some of you that are very astute out there that point out some critical failure that I did within the video or, or some critical thing that I missed within it so that I can help avoid that and make more clear, more concise videos because it seems that some of you are even using some of these videos in classrooms. Uh, I've heard stories from people that have said that they sit in their shop class and watch my videos, which I think is fantastic and I appreciate that, so thank you. But um, in order to work towards that and knowing that, it, it puts a little more pressure on me to perform in essence so that, so that I make sure that those, the information in those videos is as accurate as I can make it. And with a bit of pre-planning and a bit of time and effort, I believe I can make that happen. So, moving into 2014, looking for bigger and better things, looking for better videos, uh, number one, because that's why you started watching it in the first place. So, and, you know, some of you have complaints about me working on the same types of vehicles and that type of thing. So, what I hope to do in 2014 is cover more general topics, more things that, that fit a wider audience, things that aren't so specific to a particular vehicle. I know I have this Fairmont here, and I know I just also got the uh, 1993 Acura Vigor, uh, as well, and, and we'll be doing videos with those because some of you are very excited about both of those projects. But as I said, what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to make more generalized videos. Things like, uh, you know, a while ago I was doing videos on how to jumpstart a car and, and stuff like that. Just things in general terms that I think reach a lot of people and, and, and give them the help that they need. Um, also looking to, to develop think more, more things on EricTheCarGuy.com. 
Uh, last year it took a giant leap forward. A lot of you are using that resource and I intend to keep adding to that resource to keep making it relevant, to keep giving you more information that's going to help you through your, your day to day projects. Um, the idea is to make EricTheCarGuy.com just like your one stop shop if you have automotive issues and you know for DIY auto repair. That's, that's what I'm looking to do and I intend to keep moving in that direction. So like I said, in order to focus on these things, I need to give up some of the little detail oriented things and pass those on to perhaps the staff. And as I said, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that and should you wish to, uh, to take advantage of that opportunity, we'll talk because I've actually, my developer, the, the person that, that made the EricTheCarGuy.com website was a fan of the site and I reached out on my Facebook and, and found him, also my forum moderators. Uh, all of them have come to me through you, the quote unquote fan base. So, and, and there's, I've had some pretty, I've had a lot of success with that. I will be reaching out, as I said. I hope that covers uh, what my intentions are for 2014. I'm looking forward to 2014, as I hope you are as well. And I think the videos on Eric the Car Guy and ETCG1 will get even better. I will post important links down in the description, uh, including the one to that suggestion box, should you have them. And uh, we'll just end the thing here. So if you have automotive questions, you know where to go, EricTheCarGuy.com. Why? Because, you know, it's the place to go if you have automotive questions. And there's a welcome video there to tell you about all the wonderful features we have there in order to help you with those automotive issues that you might have. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And I close each of my videos with, be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. I'll catch you next time.